You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. are you with? Are you now calling me a harbinger of bad news? No, your bad news itself. Oh, I keep telling you people, cut out the violence. Well, madam, you're right. I brought you bad news. Prince Roland and the guard who accompanied Ebiri to pick him up from the airport died in an auto crash. noise yet. Not just yet, until the officials who are on their way to inform you arrive. Oh, now when... What? Sit down. When they arrive, I want you to do something for me. I want you to cry. Weep. Weep like you've never done before. Can you do that for me, please? You killed him too. Um, it really went to the airport with the dead guard. How come he is not among the dead? Dummy. I don't kill my own. I'll tell that to this buffoon. Tell that to this buffoon standing here doing all your evil bidding with the hope that you are going to spare her life at the end. But you won't. You know why you won't? Because you are a blood tasty beast. That's what you are. And nobody, nobody is safe with you. Sit your spot Are you in essence telling me that you no longer believe that I will spare your life and the life of your family? So because of that, you are now working to spoil my plot. I want an answer to that question. I love my family. Don't make me doubt you on that. Take care of that. Ah, by the way. A plane crashed earlier today. I don't know if you guys heard about it. Sad. Particularly very sad for the kingdom because Prince Ibebike was on that flight. No! 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 Shut up! I said shut up! Look, if you drop that or let your hand bend, you'll get 12 flashes instantly here. Please, officer. Who poisoned his majesty? Officer, I'm innocent! I said shut up! Please help us. Please help us. I'm innocent. You think I'm joking? Enough, officer! Enough! Drop the blocks, elders. Who are you? Are you out of your mind? Who do you think you... I have a, I have a court order to that effect. Elders, drop the blocks and get up. He's stating the facts. I've seen the court orders. It's all right, get up. Get up, all of you. 
I think you can poison his majesty. <laughs> Please thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. God bless thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Since the news came two days ago, our dear kingdom has been thrown into mourning and confusion. Their deaths meant that the vacuum in the people's throne has become very complex. It was based on this that I met with our town union executives and we were able to secure your release through the court of law. It cost me a whole lot of money. Oh yes. But then again, our dear kingdom, Abba, is worth sacrificing for by any true son of the soil. And seated right here is a true son of the soil. But that aside, the question now is, who sits on the throne in the absence of His Majesty and His two sons? We need to move forward. The throne under such circumstances belongs to the sitting Isogidi of Abba. Huh? Yes. Excuse me. Me? Mm -hmm. Oh no! Come on! Not, not me! I cannot bring myself to gain from the tragedy of other elders, no! <clears throat> it is not a matter of choice. It is a duty that by our tradition, you must accept or die. If not... Huh? You must be joking. It's your giddy. He is right. No. Hi. Hi. Oh. Gods of our land, why? Eh, why? Oh, how, how, how do I sit on the throne and, and rule over my people when my heart is so, so burdened by grief and, and sorrow, pain, death? Ah! Be courageous. The gods of our land will see you through. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. On the surface, Your Majesty, you and the Princess seem to be the worst hit by the tragedies. But when you look below the surface, you will see that every indigenous of Abba, especially those of us that are closest to the royal family, are bleeding in our hearts. Yes, we are. Take a look at this Hey! Hey! He has been crying like a baby ever since he was told that the throne of Abba is not his. Following the person of your husband and sons. Hi. Oh. Can you see you get it? Why? Why? Why would the gods tradition of Abba make a mockery of my grief? I place in such a normal task on my hands. Hey. Please spare me the pain by telling me what he want from me. By the circumstance of his death, his corpse is now a taboo in Abba. As long as his corpse remains in Abba, the throne of our forefather will remain vacant. Am I the one to bury him? No, none of us can. Only strangers will help us take his body to evil forest we are to be hung on a tree for the vultures to consume him. Hey! Hey! Oh, hey! Can you just imagine, elders? Our own Igwe, Agune Chamba, one of, of Abba Kingdom, Odobu, to be consumed by vultures! Hey! Hi. I'm sorry. Hi. I'm Can sorry, I bear elders. this grief? I'm sorry, elders. I lost it. I still haven't seen why I'm here. The police said you have to come to the station to sign the requisite papers before his body can be released. Why do you want me to sign the documents? 
Tomorrow, Your Majesty. When you're ready, come for me. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Rasata Kara Makara Yes, he is inside. Hmm? Now make sure that you keep to the instruction I gave to you. Pastor Liu is a very dangerous man, a very powerful man. As soon as you go in there, claim to be his client. Before he suspects anything, Hmm? Strike him dead. Do you hear me? If you allow him to go close to his source of power, you are dead. Do you hear me well? Badamua. Good. Naji Abunde Kaje. Now the gate is somewhere there. Just go through that gate. I'm waiting. It's alright. I'm waiting. Badamua. From the Karasanta Kamba Katar. Rasa takara matakara! Rasa takara matakara! I've signed all the necessary documents. You will go with the officer to the mortuary so that they can release the cops to you. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. May our ancestors... I would like to go back to the palace immediately. So, Majesty, please. Gentlemen, let's go. Get it out. Come on. Come on, Kojo. I love you, Kojo. Go. Face down, all of you. If any of you raises up his head, I will cut off the person's head with this dagger. Kaji. Oh, 
How do we face our people and tell them this shameful story? Tell us. Tell us. Must we tell them? Yes, we must. We must because we cannot crown another Yigwe unless His Majesty body is recovered. Mm -hmm. And the rituals are even for us properly done. Mm -hmm. If we try the other way around, all of us will die within seven days. A blog normally. Are you telling me that? Oh no, no, that. See, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> what I'm saying is this. Let's not reveal this to the public yet. Okay? Uh, at least we will take some time to. Elders. Come on, don't walk out on me. I'm still talking, Elders. Who gave them access to a telephone? I, I, I don't understand, sir. You don't understand? Let me brief you. The corpse of the Igwe was stolen today, effectively blocking my way to the throne because I cannot get to the throne until the corpse is recovered. I suspect the princess and queen are behind this. They couldn't have done it without having access to a telephone. Who gave them a phone? I, I, I'm so sorry, sir. It was the princess that did it. I, I was charging my phone. I went to the toilet to ease myself. By the time I got back, I found her dialing with my phone, but, but it, it, she, she couldn't reach the person. I confirmed it myself by redialing the number and it was switched off, sir. It means you just lied to me. I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, sir. It is. It's all right. It's all right. I've forgiven you. Turn around, leave. Thank you, sir. You don't want to talk to me. You think I am here to play with you. Let's see how it goes. Both of you. Hey, no, 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 please stop, stop. We will talk. We will talk. We will tell you everything you want to know. So talk to me. I don't have time to waste. Uh, go and call back in the way. Tell him we're ready to talk. Alone. You suddenly have the whole time to waste. Yeah, you're not listening for. Fine, then talk. Who's got the cops? I can see you untying yourself, huh? Don't worry about that. We've got this. Talk. Who's got the cops? We want to talk to you alone. Nelson is not going anywhere. You're wasting my time. Who's got the cops? Can I whisper it to you? If not, I won't say anything, not even at the point of death. Family members, but the 
God of the innocent will never allow you to sit on the throne of Abba Kingdom. Shame on you. Shame on you, Ibukwe. Shame! Are you here? Very well. Whoa, whoa, we're coming. Who is that? Important visitors. They are in the living room. In the living room? How did they know both of you are here? Who are they? Hey, Why don't you keep the questions till you meet them? Mama, let's go. Uh. I will take the lead. Selim, yeah. you come after them. Should that be the case? No? Huh? Shoot both of them dead. Let's go. Mama, let's go. What is going on here? You know them, don't you? That's my father. And that's my mother. Then what is going on? And the boys with them are my sons, whom Ibukwe's men had shadowed of recent. Return them to Kwakwa, Tony, and Peter. Tell him that at any time he fails to hear from me, for one full hour, he should kill them. But, but my, mommy, why don't you? No buts, Peter. Just go with them. We're fine. Nothing is going to happen. Go on, guys. You see, it's not just the lives of your parents that are in danger. The lives of your entire families are in danger. They're all being watched by not on set. And the minute we give our orders, they will kill them all. Don't give me reason to make a call asking them to kill your entire family members. And if you're in doubt about what she just said, use your phone. Now tell me, oh, what do you want? Good question. I'll give you the answer back in the room. Meanwhile, can I have your guns, guys? They will be returned to you once they are empty of bullets.
I'm just coming from the office of the phone service providers where I went to cross-check things. Betty was right. Lola and the princess never made any call to anyone or sent any text message from her, her, her phone. So that narrows it down to both of you. Who are you working for? Tell me, I will not ask again. Who took His Majesty's cops and murdered my homeboy, Pastor Leo? Are you joking or something? Do I look like someone who is joking? The two times that both of you went to the police station, you were out of sight! Who did you communicate with? Nobody. Come to think of it, if we wanted to betray you at the police station, should we have taken the option of calling somebody to come and do what you're talking about here? Yeah? Shouldn't we simply have opened up to the police? Do I look like I'm here for an an question and answer session? Do I? I am done with both of you. Neither of you will be able to recognize the other. What are you talking about? I will tell you. I will use this. I will use this to cut off your toenails. When I'm done, I cut off your fingernails, all of them, ten of them, pull them out, and then I go to your teeth. Watch me. Dude, take this. Take them. Take them. Stop it. Stop it. Are you insane? We should be asking you that. What are you trying to do? Tell me, do you want to put us in trouble, huh? If you inflict bodily harm on people, both of us are responsible for, what will you tell the people outside? I don't bloody care, you hear me? No human being, dead or alive, will frustrate my plot to achieve what I want. Now take this thing out of my face and take this and take these people. There is no time on any of them here and I swear, your cops will really want to mount the throne of Abba. This is suicide both of you are committing. I hope you know that. Pack your things and leave this room now. Pack them and leave! Now move it. Now. Don't forget your tape. That was good, guys. Great job. You obviously want your family members alive. You have proven that. Your eyes have to be on him all the time. Focus alert. Charm is ready. Are you ready? Beautiful. Elders, this guy right here represents Mpoto of Okuno Hafia. He is just as strong as Mpoto is. He has come here to fortify all of you so you can go ahead and crown me king with or without the body of our late majesty being found. God forbid! Ah, shut up! Shut up! Do you know who I am? Oh, you think I'm here to play? Do you know how much money I've invested in this? Huh? It's not good. This is dangerous. What if the giant fails? No! I am Umpoto of Okuno Yafia. Umpoto is me. The charm will not fail. Pick it up! The charm will not fail. Pick it up right now or I'll put a bullet in the heads of all of you. Right now. Hey. Hey. What's going on here? 
simple. Tied in the pieces of cloth in your hands is the same poison I used to kill his majesty. Hey! hey. You? It's all you You? You? Yes. I will tell you what I want. I want the throne of Abba. And the throne of Abba I must get. Pick it up! What do you really want? Good question. I want you to lie to our people. Tell them that the body of our late king has been found and disposed of accordingly. Banley. Shut up, I'm still talking. You do not have the luxury of saying no. This guy standing right before you is a police detective, so if you waste my time, he'll go in there, dress up properly, come out and call his people to come here and arrest you. And remember, you already have your fingerprints on the pieces of cloth in your hands. It's so good. Are you accusing us of... Coming to my house to poison me just as you poisoned our late king at the police station. Oh yes. And don't forget, in addition to facing the hangman's news, all your family members will be banished from Abba for the rest of their lives. So, the choice is you. Having successfully recovered and disposed of your husband's corpse as demanded by our royal tradition, it is now time to commence the process of installing his successor. That informed this meeting. I don't see how that necessitates a meeting with my daughter and I, you know. Since the kingship has left this family, what is our business with the coronation of another king? Because of the peculiar nature of the succession, there's a ritual surviving members of the family must perform at the coronation or it will be considered illegitimate by the gods and our people. Where? At the forest of the kings. When? Tomorrow, noon. We'll be there. But like you and your boss, my mother and I have no intention to shed blood. I'll see people suffer in the hands of the law. Go to the hotel indicated in that paper. The room number is also there. You will see your family members disappear with them. If you must successfully escape the law, then you have to hurry, as time is against you. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. It's nothing. Lillian, I'm so grateful. God will surely bless you, okay? Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Thank you. That's good. Majesty and the princess have done theirs. It is now the final phase of your crown. Okay, step forward.
Let us go and meet the others. Let us proceed to the village square.
think you can win all the time? Arrest him. Hello. Who is this, please? What? Prince Gwebike? That is not possible. Prince Gwebike died in a plane crash. Okay, okay, I'm listening. Eh? 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 Pastor Father, I thank you! Pastor Father, I thank you! Oh, no, no, what's it? What is it? Prince is still alive! Oh, Prince is still alive! Hey! 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 Our Our princess. Princess. He said he was not in the flight that God crashed. Mm -hmm. He said the Lillian girl called him while he was about to board a flight in America. Mm -hmm. She made a call on the day she visited the police station. So he wasn't in the flight. Mm -hmm. He was not in the flight. Our prince is alive. His Majesty's God is still safe. Mm -hmm. He said he was the one who planned with the Lillian girl and her mother to take the cops away from us. She has to stop. Our prince is still alive! 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 Sabu 